you were paying attention last week, then you would have heard that I have 21 goals to complete over the next 5 to 10 years. 21 goals to satisfaction. And the first goal I plan to tackle is improving my overall athleticism and martial arts. And what better way to do that than with the gravity training from Dragon Ball Z. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gravity Room Method. Now then, let's get satisfied. The Gravity Room Method is a workout program and weightlifting method designed for maximal strength games. The method comes in three parts. You have your basic strength training, maximal weight exposure, and daily weight exposure. <coughs> Now keep in mind that this method is for strength gains, meaning that it's not a bodybuilding program. You won't get very big from it. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly big, but people are often surprised at how strong I am, so I can guarantee that this method is very effective for gaining strength. Oh, this? This is my gravity room controls. But more on that later. Phase one of the gravity room method is your basic strength program which comprises of your main lifts, your abs and core, and a choice. One, two. As for the exact lifts that you'll be doing in phase one, you have your lower body lifts, that being the back squat, deadlift, and front squat, your push lifts, being the bench press and overhead press, and your pull, which is of course your pull-ups, bent over rows, and chin-ups. These are what we'll be calling your main lifts. After that, we have the abs and core, which is the decline sit-ups, good mornings, overhead squat, hyperextensions, and weighted side bends, and then the choice, which means you can choose one exercise for any body part to do five sets of five reps, or five sets 25 meter carry, or a 10 minute heavy metcon. Now if you choose an exercise, they can't be one of the same exercises included in the main lifts. And five. Whew. Now, for what makes this method really good, the rep scheme. The gravity room method follows a basic five sets of five reps rep scheme in which you build up to about 85 to 90 percent of your five rep max. That means your first set's gonna be about 50%, then the second set 60%, then 70, then 80, then 90. You get the idea. Now, you wanna start with a warm up set of about of 10 reps at about half your first set's weight. And then ugh, rest two to three minutes between each set. Now for the really fun part. On each phase one workout that you do, you wanna choose one of the main lifts to do additional work beyond the five by five sets. These sets will be one set of three reps and then three sets of one rep. Now for these extra sets and reps, your weight should still increase even if it's only by one or two kgs for the last four sets. The last set may or may not be your absolute maximum, but will be the heaviest lift of the day. However, if you feel like you can go a little bit heavier beyond those sets, then by all means, go ahead. And finally, if you want to complete your last set of five reps, then next time you're going to add an additional about 5% next time you do that lift. Now for phase two, maximal weight exposure. The phase two workout is about holding each of your main lifts in the top and bottom position for 10 seconds. The weight you're going to use for these holds is 100% of your five rep max. And then if you manage to hold that for 10 seconds, then next week when you do it, you're going to hold 105% of your 5 rep max, and then 110%, and then 115 and so on and so forth. Now, if you fail to hold it for 10 seconds, then reduce the weight by 5%. Now, for most of the lifts, the top position is going to be easier to hold than the bottom position. So you'll want to keep track of these separately as to what percentage that you're on for each lift and for each position. Now that's a lot of weight to keep track on. Luckily for you, I have the solution. This is the perfect opportunity to talk about my gravity room controls. The gravity room controls is a little program that I made in Excel a while ago when I first started using the gravity room method. The way to use it is to put in your current 5 rep max based on how much you lifted last time. Let's say 50 kgs or pounds or whatever you use. Press the green button. 
and it initiates the gravity simulation. What that means is that it will take your new 5 rep max, which is 105% of your previous 5 rep max, and then it will spit out 50% of that new number. Then you do your 5 reps, and once you're done, press the up, and that's 60%. And you keep doing that for the rest of your workout. It also keeps track of what your current lifts are, and of course you can input your maximal strength training percentages as well. Now if you plan on starting this workout and you want access to the gravity room controls then be sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below and following me on the Team Satisfaction Instagram. And last but not least, the final phase of the gravity room method is the daily weight exposure. Now you may not start this section until you've reached an average of one and a half times your body weight for all of your main lifts, that being the lower body push and pull lifts. For the pull-ups and chin-ups, you only have to add half your body weight in addition since you'll already be pulling your body weight up, but not on the squats because, well, squats. Average out all of the weights of all your lifts and see if it equals one and a half times your body weight. Now for your daily weight exposure section, you're going to be wearing 5% of the highest weight you've held in the maximal weight exposure section, that being phase two. Your first weight should be added center of mass up to at least the first 25 pounds. Ideally, this weight will be worn the majority of the day and may be worn while you train, but not during your phase one and two workouts or any other workout that is about lifting maximal weights. All other workouts, however, are fair game. You'll also wear the weights while you're at home, running errands, doing chores, and even at work or school if possible. But not if your work is entirely sedentary. Now of course you have to be careful and listen to your body. If you're hurt, then take the weights off, take a step back from training for a while. But otherwise, the weights are designed to make your workouts more difficult and to increase your strength and speed, just like Goku did. Now of course we won't be wearing ridiculous amounts of weight here, even if you're able to hold a thousand pounds you'll still only be wearing 50 pounds around on a regular basis. But in reality, that's about what Goku did, was wear 5% of his maximal hold. And imagine what you'll feel like after wearing these weights for weeks and months during all of your non-maximal lifting training and then not wearing them. Imagine how light you'll feel, how much faster you'll be, how much higher you could jump, and how much longer you could go. And trust me, the best part about wearing a weighted vest is the cardio gains you get from it. Oh my goodness. It is hard to run in that, but it is so good. Now if you've enjoyed this video and you plan to try out the gravity room method for yourself then I will leave a link down below to realanimetraining.com that's where I got most of my workouts from and a link to an example of my workout program using the gravity room method because there is of course more to it than that. With the gravity room method, aside from your main lifting, the phase one and two workouts, you're going to be doing additional training workouts for cardio, mobility and any other goals that you have, strength, endurance, whatever aside from your main lifting. Now my workout, I've got a few workouts in there, again from Real Anime Training, which we will be covering in the future, but aside from that, I'm also doing martial arts training, VR cardio, VR dodging practice, and space pirate trainer in my afternoon. The gravity room method is more of my morning workout routine, so keep that in mind if you're a martial artist. You gotta do more than just strength training, okay? Whew, that has been the Gravity Room Method, but before we finish off this video, my editor, Ariana, has a little surprise for you all. Something very epic in store. Ariana, take it away. I have to be ready for anything, and I don't have much time.
was epic, or at least I hope it was epic because I haven't seen it yet because it's not out yet. But, of course, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys at least enjoyed that edit, and if you did, then be sure to check out Ariana on Instagram. Her Instagram will come up here, I don't know how to say it, bubbybub.ie. Follow her there, and while you're at it, follow the Team Satisfaction and join us in completing our goals. When you follow me out the Team Satisfaction, DM me, let me know what your goals are, make your own Instagram, follow your own goals, and keep on... Follow your own goals, and let's work together to get satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Keep on hunting for your dreams, and satisfy me.